This video is intended for a mature audience only. If you're a kid, please go away. Hello everybody, Lurcher for Life here bringing as a brand new video. And this is uh, something that I kind of want to start doing every year uh, as kind of like a, uh, you know, yearly, hey, this is my kind of plans and resolutions, you know, the New Year's resolutions for the channel because I have a lot of aspirations for this channel going forward, heck, for all of my channels um, going forward for YouTube in general and my general plans in regarding to this. Uh, I also have a Q&A. Every year I like to try and do something fun for the anniversary of when I made the channel, which was way back on like December 21st. Uh, unfortunately, due to the holidays and everything, I wasn't able to do anything special really back then. However, I did post a few, I posted a tweet and I posted a community thing uh, asking for you guys to submit any questions you wanted. I didn't get a lot of questions, but however, I am here to answer them now in addition to the New Year's resolutions kind of thing. So, um, first, before we get to the Q&A, uh, let's get on with the kind of resolutions and plans and ideas because this e upcoming year is going to be a big year for me personally. Uh, you know, uh, if everything is, if everything goes well, I will be graduating college on May 15th, uh, give or take. That'll be graduation ceremony day and then I will hopefully be able to find a job as my career, a teacher as I've mentioned in the past, and hopefully be able to really start, you know, moving forward with my life, uh, you know. And due to the profession I'm going into, and also the current upcoming few months, it's gonna be kind of rough going forward until May-ish, uh, because I'm not gonna be able to record a huge amount. I'm gonna try. Uh, to get some stuff done here and there in the afternoons because uh, you know I have the afternoons off uh, but however by the end of the day I am so tired <laughs> I, I cannot do much of anything uh, that being said I am gonna try and get at least two videos a week that's my that's my resolution one to two videos a week on all three of my channels uh, yes I have three I've mentioned it before uh, if you guys want to check those out the other two is my chaotic channel, obviously low tier for life chaotic, and then low tier life. I haven't really advertised this channel much, and I don't know why. <laughs> I've been very reluctant to for some reason, uh, but it is basically it was originally my gaming channel, but gaming channels are kind of not very viable nowadays, especially since I don't have time to game as much as I used to. Uh, so I rebranded it as just Low Tier Life instead of Low Tier for Life Gaming. So now, as Low Tier Life, I'm going to talk about stuff about everything, not just gaming. I'm going to talk about gaming, obviously, but however, I'm going to talk about my other passions. You know, I, I as you guys can see, I have a lot of passions. I have anime, video games, manga, uh, buying these stupid overpriced figures that I love collecting so much, you know, and... So, if you ever want to hear my idea, my thoughts, opinions, and just other stuff that I want to talk about on that channel, that is where that's going to go about, like, just, just about anything that I feel like talking about in regards to my other passions. Uh, and so, yeah, that's my general goal with that, is to be able to get two videos out. That's my main goal. I'm going to settle for one if need be, but however, I would like to get two out at least. Especially, uh, now in regards to Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, ban list um, stuff and also like other big announcements I will not count for because uh, uh, towards that like goal because that's like urgent news that I need to get out ASAP. <laughs> uh, I actually have a huge video that's going to be coming out tomorrow, probably today, yeah, probably tomorrow. Um, and that video is is a hour long almost of me just going over every card that I have missed over the past week because we got a lot of stuff. And I hope you guys are ready to get some popcorn and watch that. Uh, I If I had known it was going to be an hour, I probably would have broken it up into two parts. But, oh well, I want to play catch up and, you know, be able to get my thoughts and opinions out on that. Because, oh my god, Eternity Code is amazing. Um, <laughs> but I digress. So, that's my main resolution. And I want to see this channel grow. I want to get better at editing. I have 
three videos. One for my Chaotic channel, two for this channel that I want to get out uh, somewhat soon. I, I was originally going to try and get the Chaotic one out by the end of the year, and that did not go through, and that's purely because I got to edit, and editing is something that I am still learning, it's not something that I am very good at, and I really got to practice it, do some research, do some tutorials, uh, heck, while this video is probably going through the render and along with the others, I will probably be researching those in particular, because, uh... I really want to get those videos out. I know you guys are going to love them. Uh, the ones on this channel are videos that people have been requesting for a really long time, and the video on my Chaotic channel is going to be something that I think people are going to love. Speaking of Chaotic, we should be hearing stuff about Chaotic's revival this year. I can't wait. Keep an eye on my Chaotic channel. The instant I hear anything and the instant I get home on that day I hear anything about it, you can bet you, you can you can bet I will be doing a video on that so I I can't wait this year is looking gonna it's gonna be awesome and you know once I actually get to being a teacher I'm gonna have weekends off I'm gonna have holidays off I'm gonna have summers off I'm gonna have winter off so you guys can expect <laughs> uh, videos to be pumping out like crazy during that time because uh, I really do wanna I, I love doing this this is one of my favorite hobbies to do uh, that is uh, you know, not just about all all the other stuff because it's interactive. I get to do this. You guys get to enjoy it, and I don't know. I feel kind of accomplished about it. You know, like you know, what can I really say about spending a buttload of money on a figure or playing video games? Like, oh yeah, you did it, but you know, it's I I don't know. I don't feel as accomplished as I do whenever I upload a video and people really like it. You know, it, I love doing this. It's fun. It's like really good hobby. Uh, if only YouTube wouldn't keep messing with me. On that note, the disclaimer is going to keep going probably. I want to see if anything happens by the end of January. Uh, as you guys know, at the beginning of every video, uh, I have been putting a disclaimer there to, um, you know, <laughs> uh, just be like, hey, not family friendly. <laughs> well, family friendly, but not for kids, I should say. So, I... I would really like to get rid of that disclaimer. I don't like it being there, but with how things are and how uncertain I am about COPPA and everything, I mean, so far there hasn't been any word as far as I can tell. Heck, more than anything, it's just, uh, it seems like the big YouTube drama right now is juking media extorting people, which is pretty scary. <laughs> so, thankfully though, haven't had to worry about any of that. Haven't had to worry about COPPA yet, haven't heard anything. I'm praying that we don't have any issues, because uh, I'm a one-man army, I'm a one-man show, uh, one-man show, not woman show, that's kind of weird, <laughs> uh, whenever it comes to this channel, so if I ever get hit with one of those fines from COPPA, I am dead in the water, and I am not, I really do not want that to happen. <clears throat> so, uh, I really hope that maybe by the end of January I might be able to remove it. Uh, if not, uh, I'm thinking about like switching up the art every now and then by just recommissioning new art uh, from the same guys who did the art before. Uh, maybe about once every like three or four months, give or take. I mean, uh, it'd be kind of cool because I'm sure you guys don't want to see the same two art at the beginning of every single video. <laughs> uh, so... You know, I want to mix that up um, from time to time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, oh yeah, uh, big thing that's going to help me be able to actually still make videos is that I do have Fridays off. I'm hoping to be able to get videos uh, recorded on those days and also maybe even do a live stream or two from time to time. I've missed doing live streams. You guys really like that. Uh, something else uh, for another New Year's resolution, <laughs> the channel membership thing has completely fallen through. Nobody uh, cares for it, which I'm not surprised one bit. I mean, I wasn't really sure what to do with it. I think the big thing is I need to come up with a better reward for it, and I want your guys' opinions on that. Like, maybe should I make it so that... Because I don't want to gate anything off of it. A uh, big thing that turns me off from doing that is seeing that, oh, channel exclusive, like, membership exclusive videos. Like... Okay, cool. You're you're gonna gatekeep behind money and that. <laughs> now, granted, uh, my thing's only a dollar, so I was thinking like maybe making to where videos go out early to members or something, but like a day or something. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? I am open to all ears and ideas and everything. It's 
it's something that I kind of, that, that I that I hope that you guys would be, I don't know, I want to hear what you guys think. <laughs> I get tongue-tied super easily. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything in terms of that. And the only other big thing that I would really like to do is upgrade my camera. Uh, that's probably not going to be doable until after I get started on my career because the camera I'm looking at is really, really, really expensive. And it's the one that Native Legend uses. He recommended it to me. And it's like 500 bucks for a camera. And then I'd also have to get a stand for it. Uh, actually, I think it might come with a stand. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's from Best Buy. I think they have like a bundle where you get it with the stand or something. But uh, that's uh, that's a long ways off. I would love to get a new camera. But it's, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, you know, I, it just says HD on it, but it's not HD. It, it really, like, it's like Suedo HD. It's the fake HD. But, I digress. Um, that's like my big New Year's resolutions. Learn editing, do one to two videos a week, at least until after I get done with school. And then after that, probably more. Um, and then also really focus on all my channels and everything and be able to do all that. Now, will I be able to hit everything all the time? No, of course not, you know. Uh, like, for instance, I am sure that, like, whenever I have a big assignment, or especially as I take over the classroom at my school, I'm going to have less and less free time, so uh, it's going to get a bit harder and harder to do that. But if you don't have a good work-life balance, then you're doing something wrong, and I have not had a good work-life balance for a very long time. So I want to get better at that, and finding that balance and fighting through the tiredness is a uh, part of the battle. So now let's get on with the q and A. I I got all you guys' uh, questions pulled up. Um, I have glossed over these before but haven't uh, really given them a huge amount of thought because I wanted to be able to kind of give you guys my genuine answers you know without like thinking like you know for like two hours on it. So <clears throat> first up is on my community tab which by the way guys if you don't follow me on social uh, media or like check out the community tab from time to time uh, I would really appreciate it if you would because that's like going to be the easiest way to see like contact me and interact with me uh, when I'm not doing videos and also it's also like a good way because you know how YouTube's notification system is kind of wonky so it'd go a long way to helping out me and also helping out you see my stuff so <laughs> with that being said, uh, first up on the community tab we got from Bobby Chang. How do you find someone to edit videos? I'm an aspiring YouTuber but have little experience editing videos. Would like to learn or hire someone to do it. Any suggestions? So, uh, I don't really recommend hiring anybody to do it until you get super big, okay? People like Philip DeFranco, Quartering, all those other really big YouTubers who make, uh, who are able to do this for a career. Uh, they have a whole team and they are able to pay people and a wage to be able to do it. Um, I'm sure there are freelance editors out there that you could find that you can pay money to do it, but I have no idea what they would charge for it. And until you are making money off of YouTube and in a substantial amount, like I maybe get paid once a year. I'm going to be 100% honest with that. I maybe get paid once a year if that, depending on how much I upload um, and how much you guys watch it. <laughs> um, so... Uh, I don't see any point for me to go and do that. Now that being said, there's tons of tutorials out there on YouTube to find that will teach you how to edit and everything. Uh, me personally, um, for just basic edits, mostly just stitching videos together, like if a video, uh, like my camera for instance, it, it automatically cuts off the video's file size so it doesn't get too big and starts recording another video automatically, so after like 30 minutes. So if I record an hour long discussion video or something, it will cut it and then it'll segment it into two 30 minute pieces. But I don't want that, so I gotta go and segment them back together. Windows Movie Maker is my main way of doing that. And that's also how I put, <laughs> yes, I still use Windows 7 on my work computer. Um, and I will probably continue doing so even after the uh, thing ends, because I am not a big fan of Windows 10. I have it on my gaming computer, but I, that's only because it came with it. Um, and so Windows Movie Maker is really good for that. It just lets you do simple edits like that. For more advanced edits, like overlays and stuff, the best one that I've always heard is Sony, is Sony Vegas Pro. Um, you can find, uh, you can find, you can buy it. I think you got to get a uh, license or something. You can also find, uh, not so, I, I can't really say it because I know YouTube will get mad, but considering that I literally... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll be honest, I found a free version of it on YouTube, uh, emphasis on, you know, free. Uh, I will probably end up buying a better one because Sony Vegas is not very good. Um, I'm going to look into more about like other ideas and way like things. Uh, there was a free editing software that Negative Legend recommended to me, uh, but it must have been free when he got it because nowadays it's not free and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> um, so I would recommend doing some research on YouTube and then doing some like uh, finding some tutorials to be able to edit and everything. That's what I did. Uh, Sony Vegas was one that people recommend a huge amount. Uh, me personally though, I don't like it. I've had so many instances with Sony Vegas where I will let it render a video and then it will crash <laughs> and or it will freeze and it won't continue rendering and it, it's just super annoying. So I don't really recommend Sony Vegas. I'm gonna uh, try and possibly buy a better version out there. Who knows, I might I might just have to chug out the money for the one that uh, Negative Legend uses because that one is really good. Uh, he's got a really good tutorial video on using it. I just hate it how he got it for free because it was free at the time and now you gotta pay for it. And I don't know, I don't have a lot of money I can toss around. So I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that. Uh, but yeah, I do in general recommend to just learn how to do it yourself until you can get big enough to where you can maybe have somebody who's really good at it to, you know, hire and do it for you. Um, then we got, uh, same, same person, Bobby Chang. Uh, if I tribute summon Vampire Scourge, can I immediately use Scourge effect to special summon the monster I just used for its tribute summon, even if I didn't have any other monster in grave when I tribute summon thanks and advice? Uh, <laughs> You probably already got the answer from somebody else, but yes, you can. It's not like it's not like uh, Lumina, the Light Sworn Priestess, I think is what her name is. The one who you got to discard, target a dude in your graveyard, special summon. She requires uh, Light Sworn already being in the grave because she targets along with the discard and everything. Uh, Scourge just summons a dude from your graveyard on summon, and it doesn't care if it was in there or not. Whenever he, I mean. Technically speaking, it was in the grave when he was summoned because you tribute and you summon and then, oh, it checks the grave after it's summoned. Oh, there's a vampire. Oh, it's the one I just sent to graveyard. I don't care. Bring it out. So, yeah, that's, it's a, it's a work. I do it all the time whenever I play vampires, which, I mean, doesn't happen often, but however, uh, I, I haven't played vampires in forever. That's another deck I want to test out for Master Roll 5. Like, I, I am so excited for Master Roll 5. I honestly... I, I am so tempted to just skip out on the next few months, but like at the same time, I want to keep track of what's going on and you know still you know stay in the game uh, as much as I can uh, at least because I can't make it up there on days whenever I have school and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna try and hang out with friends as much as I can too. So, yep. Anyways, uh, and then we got Graceful Charity who. By the way, thank you, dude. I just want to give a big shout out to Graceful Charity. Uh, you have been a longtime subscriber, as far as I know. I see a comment on like every video. You are awesome. Thank you so much. And you also gave me a huge laundry list of uh, questions to answer. So, uh, first one is: Do you know how to cook or bake? Um, to an extent. <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience with it, so I'm constantly questioning myself whenever I do it, and I get worried that I'm gonna, like, break it. Like, just the other day, I tried cooking some, uh, some of this, uh, like, steak things. They're, like, pre-cut steak. You just throw them on a fryer, and they're good to go, and I, I was so worried. I burned it. Like, oh my god. It turned out, it turned out pretty good, so that was good. I mainly like to cook spaghetti. I know how to throw something in the oven and cook it. I can follow the instructions on a uh, on, on a on a uh, on a uh, cake or something. But like I am not particularly good at it, and I don't do it a lot. I probably should do it more though to help out around the house though. Um, what are some cards you'd like to see come out from the ban list, like Book of Moon or Skulk or Bat Joker? What are cards you'd want as a controversial thing, like Crystal Charity, Painful Choice? Uh, cards I'd like to see and probably could come back. I'd really like to see Double Iris Magician come back. Uh, maybe Skulker Bat as well. But then again, I'm super biased towards Pendulums in general because I really like that summoning mechanic. Um, on that note, they really do got to do something about the Pendulum like deck that you know is still running around. I know it's not as popular now, but however, that deck is scary with the boards it can do, and I I don't like it. Um, off the top of my head, uh, 
crap, I forgot what was on the ban list. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to pull it up real quick while I'm doing this. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'll talk about the controversial ones I'd like to see. So, controversial choice, I would love to see Pot of Greed come back. Uh, okay, so Pot of Greed, you know, just generic, plus one. And, you know, I don't think it would be that crazy in today's game. I mean, obviously, it would be a very good card, but I don't think it's a win button. Um, but other than that, I mean, like, that's the only one that I would really like as a controversial card. Uh, all the others I feel like are just too strong. Uh, so let's see here. Um, let's see here. For cards that I think could come back, I'd like to see Snow come back. You know, Fairy Tale Snow. Uh, there's maybe to one, and, you know, I, do we still have that grass is banned, right? Yeah, that grass looks greener. I'd like one of those back. I feel like as one, as long as one is in the game, it's fine. I don't think you can have both because both is a stupid. Um, that being said, though, I would really like to see at least that grass back. You know, that made uh, a lot of really uh, fun and interesting decks for the format. I mean, and some were good, some weren't. A lot of them have relied on snow just being busted to be able to do that. But however, I, I really like to see that grass is back because it's it's a really good card and encouraged other deck building, especially since you got to build a deck around it. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be completely biased here. I want Wind Up Carriers and Mighty to come back purely because I have a mint condition ultimate rare first Ed, and I really want to sell it for a ton of money. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know that the instant that card comes back, it's going to be a stupid amount of money. Because people have a lot of uh, have a lot of like memories with windups. It's a fan favorite deck. I kind of want to mess around with it personally. I hate windups because I I started the game in windup in Zector format and I hated every minute of it because uh, that was just not fun and getting hunter looped was not fun and getting uh, shock locked was not fun and <laughs> uh, god why did I stick with this game for so long um, I'd also like to see starving venom come back that card uh, they really should just ban independent nightingale on that same note they really should ban utopic zexel and bring back argent chaos force that is one of the stupidest things they have done yet because argent chaos force is not a ban worthy card by itself. Topic Zexal though is the card that actually does the issue, you know, blocking out your opponent from being able to play the game for a turn. So by banning Utopic Zexal, you prevent I mean, because as long as Utopic Zexal is in the game and legal to use, <laughs> uh, then well uh, they can't really get crazy with the rank ups. And I really want to see Konami try and make good rank up cards again because that is something that uh, I would really like to see Konami try and like you know mess around with. Uh, let's see here. Giant Tornade could totally come back. I don't know why that's still banned. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I, I person like uh, another controversial card. I'd love to see Pot of Avarice come back. I think it's legal in Japan. I would like to see it back over here. So many decks could really, really use it. I know the uh, meta decks would love it too, but like the lower tier decks would really love it as well. Um, I already said Pot of Greed. <laughs> uh, now, if we want to get really, really, what was the other? Oh, yeah, the big one. So, <clears throat> Maxi. I, I want Maxi at three. I, I feel like that the only reason people started hating it was because Zodiac players hated it. They had to actually think about their plays. They actually had to think about what they were doing. They actually had to think instead of just going through the motions. Uh, whenever uh, somebody would drop Max C on them and everything, and it seemed like nobody hated Max C until after Zodiac started getting dunked on it a lot. I feel like we got a lot of counters to it now. Ash Blossom, Called by the Grave, etc., etc. Uh, and really, in all honesty, even if you draw like 20 cards, if your opponent has 5 plus negates on their board, you're not going to be able to play. Uh, so, really, I feel like that Maxi could come back. I feel like it's a really good, um, it, if especially in tandem with like uh, Nibiru, Dimension Wanderer, etc. Uh, Maxi <laughs> would great like would help slow this game down because that's one of the biggest issues with the game. And I know that like Dark Roller No More, Nibiru, and Dimension Wanderer were released to try and be a band aid to fix the game. 
but I feel like Max C would be the final solution without just outright banning every card from before. Um, so I don't know. I would really like to see Max C back. Um, I know that's a really big point of contention uh, for a lot of people, but it'd be really, really nice. Um, other than that, not really much, <laughs> uh, to be uh, completely 100% honest. Uh, back to your comments. Uh, let's see here. Do do do. Gotta hit Ray Morgan. Uh, what are some archetypes you'd want to see made as a structure deck? What are some random cards you want to see get support in general? Um, for archetypes to get a structure deck, I would really like to see Red Eyes get another structure deck. You know, they've been doing a uh, structure deck R's, and I'd like to see Red Eyes get a structure deck partly because that would be a perfect time to reprint the um, legendary uh, Duelist cards. And also give Red Eyes some more support because the deck is in dire need of more support. And I know that they got that like really broken fusion over in Japan, uh, who is being used in an engine because <laughs> that thing is just stupid powerful. And uh, I was looking forward to it coming out, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> so yeah, uh, other archetypes. Um, got a Gladiator to be structured that could be kind of cool, but I feel like they got enough now. Uh, I feel like we could probably get another hero structure deck. I know that would probably not be worth it, but it'd be kind of cool. Uh, Crystal Beast getting a structure deck would be really nice. I know Sacred Beast just got theirs announced a little bit ago. Uh, Speed Raids getting one would be kind of cool as well. Uh, honestly, like if every like struct, if like every archetype could get at least one structure deck, it'd be kind of cool <laughs> in general. Um, and then some cards that would be really cool getting support in general without like being a well. To be made into a full archetype. First and foremost, Summon Skull. Okay, and they gave us an Xyz, a Fusion, a Synchro. I think we got a Link. Uh, Summon Skull has like one of everything now, but he is not an actual archetype. You know, just Summon Skull and then a bunch of different versions of him uh, that all are treated as Summon Skull and then summon more Summon Skulls and then also protect all Summon Skulls on the field. And I feel like if we got a full archetype for Summon Skull, that'd be really cool. Uh, I feel like Gaia could totally be a full archetype, but they've turned him into being more support for uh, uh, Black Luster Soldier. Um, for like outside of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, I'd really like to see a uh, good old... Uh, let's see here, just off the top of my head from GX. Um, I'd like to see the Inferno like made into a full archetype, like uh, Inferno Annihilator, I think is what it's called. It's a level six that uh, it's a fire. It's the thing that like uh, Bastion kills with Water Dragon. <laughs> it, it looked so cool as a kid. He reminded me of Diaboromon from the uh, second Digimon movie, like the second Western one. I know technically there was like four beforehand that in Japan, but I digress. So and in full archetype around that, around that would be cool. Um, other than that, like other iconic cards, it'd be kind of cool to see like a full Chaos Emperor Dragon archetype because BLS has a full archetype now and it'd be kind of cool to see a Chaos Emperor get one too, so just kind of my little thing there. Uh, what are some decks you'd want to see getting hit? I don't mean Sky Strikers or Thunders, I mean decks you hate just to hit, so you never have to deal with them ever. Uh, LMAO, I know this may get you some hate, but I, you don't need to answer. Uh, so, personally speaking, if I could never duel against Dark Worlds again, I'd be happy. I hate Dark Worlds, I hate dueling against a deck, it's not fun. Uh, losing your entire hand and not being able to play really, really sucks. And so if I could never, ever, ever duel against Dark Worlds again, just hit them deaf, I'd be happy. <laughs> uh, my hatred comes from the fact that one of my friends back in the back when I first started would play basically nothing but Dark World and having my hand torn apart, my field destroyed, and just everything else it was never a fun time. So I hate Dark World. So for burning passion of a thousand suns, and they're only worse of dangers. And uh, so I, I do like playing the deck though. So I will be honest. Uh, what are some cards you think are potentially broken but just haven't, uh, don't have the potential or card pull just yet? Um, off the top of my head, uh, I think it's called Legacy of the Valiant. No, that doesn't sound right. Jewels of the Valiant, that's what it is. It's a continuous spell card where once per turn when a monster is banished from your graveyard and only one monster, you can send another monster with the uh, same type of different attribute from your deck to the graveyard. So, like, it's really good in, um, uh, 
uh, what's the deck called? A, a witchcrafter, because you know you can banish one of your witchcrafters that's a spellcaster, like for instance the fire one, you banish her, send a uh, witchcrafter from your deck to the graveyard, and then, oh, you banish the dude, so you activate uh, the Valiant effect to send another one to graveyard, so you basically get a double mill. <laughs> it's, it's a really interesting card, and I feel like it could be really good for certain archetypes out there. It just, it's just very hampered by the fact that it's not searchable, I mean, outside of using Watchdog, which is horrid. Um, and it also doesn't have a particularly broken archetype to be used in. Uh, there's also the continuous spell Quiet Life, which I also have used in Witchcrafter, funnily enough. Uh, where during the turn somebody normal summons, they cannot special summon. And during the turn that they special summon, they cannot normal summon. So basically, like with Witchcrafter, for instance, you normal summon out your uh, Witchcrafter, you do your other stuff. Then it switches over to your opponent's turn, you use the Witchcrafter effect to special summon a dude from your deck. Sure, you can't normal summon, but hey, it's during your opponent's turn. And if your opponent tries to normal or sp uh, normal summon, they can't special summon anymore. So if they want to be able to actually play the game, they have to special summon first. And for some decks, they can't do that. Like Salmon Great, unless they're playing Salmon Great Mirror, which almost nobody plays in the main builds. <laughs> um, they they can't really start playing. They have to normal summon like Lady Debug or something, and then oh. And they can't continue playing <laughs> because uh, Quiet Life says no. And the card is like really, really good in certain archetypes, but again, it's not searchable. And it does, uh, it needs to be used in a very niche archetype or a niche deck. Uh, it's pretty good in Rockstone too. I, <laughs> I really like it in that too. I'm um, sure there's plenty of other cards too, but those are the first two that come to mind. And so I always try to hold on to one. I only have one Jewels of the Valiant. I really need to get more just in case. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, what are some cards that are good in meta but really not that good? So, cards that are like good in or against a meta but really aren't that good outside of it. Um, I, I, oh, God. Uh... I don't know, pretty much anything that people play in the meta is going to be good elsewhere. It's, uh, I mean, like, really, if you think about it, I mean, unless you take an archetypal card, like, you know, you take one of the Thunder Dragons and you put it in a non-Thunder Dragon deck with no Thunder Dragons, you're kind of stupid. So, I, I really can't think of anything that would be like that, because pretty much any good card that's, like, really, really good to be in the meta is going to be in the meta. So, I can't think of, <laughs> I honestly can't think of that, um, of anything like that. But all good questions, uh, definitely um, very, very nice. And then I got one more question over on Twitter. Uh, in regards to the Chaotic re-release, what are you most excited to see in the coming years? Uh, just the fact that the game is coming back, uh, the TV show, video games, books, expansion on the lore, etc., etc., everything. <laughs> and that's from uh, Dominic Perry over on Twitter. So... Yeah, just about everything. I, I, I just the fact that Chaotic's coming back in general, I'm excited about. So, yeah, excited, <laughs> very much so. Um, that's is everything. That's unfortunately all the questions I got. I would really appreciate more if you guys have any questions and you want me to do another Q and A. Please leave them down in the comments below, and if I get enough, I'll do another one. Otherwise, I'll just answer them in the comments. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have tons of videos already recorded that are going to be uploaded over the course and uh, over the course of the next week or so. So hopefully I will be able to actually <laughs> uh, stave off until I get to Friday where I can record again. Um, so guys, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, and see you all later. Peace out. Thank you all for watching the video. Have a great day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And see y'all later.